Hi, Mike here. Now, for as long as I can remember, Excel has included a sum if function. It's used to add up numbers in a range of cells that match a single criteria. For example, I want to know how many goals were scored by Manchester United where the match was played at home. In 2007, Microsoft introduced the sum ifs or sum if s function into Excel, which made it easy to have multiple criteria. For example, how many goals were scored where the match was played at home and the team won and the match was played on a Sunday? For many people, the logic as to which function they used was one criteria, use sum if, multiple criteria, use sum ifs. But actually, Whilst sum if only works with a single criteria, sum ifs works with one or more criteria. So there really is no need to use sum if anymore. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So here's my data. It's the Manchester United results from season 2022 to 23, just for the league matches. And you can see that the number of goals scored is in column E. And I want to know how many goals were scored by United where the match was played at home. And that is coming from the venue column, column C. The data isn't stored in a table. I know best practice says it should be, but I want to show you that you can use some if and some ifs without a table. So I'm going to go over to J1 and put equals sum if open brackets. The first thing I do is specify the range that contains the criteria. So because in this case, it is matches that are played at home, I need to specify C2 to C39. That is where we'll find the home or, or away. Then a comma, and then the word home in double quotes. That's the criteria itself. Then another comma, and then the third parameter is the range that contains the numbers to be summed or to be added, which is E2 through to E39. Close the brackets. So what that's saying is add up the numbers in column E where column C contains the word home. The third parameter is the range that contains the numbers. Now, I want to know how many of those goals were scored where the match was played at home and the team won and the match was played on a Sunday. Because I have more than one criteria, I'll need to use some if s or some ifs, depending on how you want to say it. So the formula there is going to be some ifs open brackets. Now with the some ifs function, just to confuse us, the sum range comes at the beginning, whereas the sum if function, the sum range, the range that contains the numbers, comes at the end. So the sum range here is column E, E2 to E39, comma, and then we have the criteria range and the criteria. And because sum if s allows you to have more than one criteria, you do it in pairs range, criteria, range, criteria, and so on. So in this case, I'll do the home criteria first. Remember, it's matches that were played at home, and you'll find that in column C. So that will be C2 through to C39, comma, and then home is the actual criteria, comma. And then the second criteria was that the team must have won the match, and that's in column D. So that'll be D2 through to D39, comma, and that will be a W as the criteria, comma. And then the third criteria was that the match must have been played on a Sunday, and that's coming from column B. So that's B2 to B39. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm typing in the ranges rather than selecting them, I'm just finding it's quicker because I know the data is going from row 2 to row 39. This final criteria itself is the word sun. 
And because it's text, like with the others, it's going in double quotes. So that's showing us that we've scored 10 goals where the match was played at home and the team won and the match was played on a Sunday. But going back to the first example, where I had a single criteria, I want to know how many goals were scored where the match was played at home, I used some if. But I could have used some ifs. So if I go to J3 and put equals some ifs, open brackets, the sum range is E2 to E39. The criteria range, well, this is where you would find the word home. So that is C2 to C39. And the criteria itself is the word home. So that's it. Apart from the fact that you only have to remember one function, there's other benefits of using some ifs too. The range containing the numbers to be summed is the first argument. And to me, that makes more sense than some if, where the range to be summed is the third argument. But probably the biggest benefit is that if you start with a single criteria and later decide you need to add additional criteria, you just need to edit the formula and add the additional criteria at the end. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.